Good morning, folks. You see, it's my new little baby lemon tree, and I know she's got a little bit of spots on her, and we're hoping that'll go away as as I, I'm going to almost ready to transfer her to uh, another pot. So let's put her down here because it's just a little bit breezy today. Um, got a couple things that I want to talk about this morning. If you can see, I, I've been along the fence line here and took all the poison ivy out. I've got to go on the other side of the fence where it all fell and, and, and chop that up and take it to the dump today. And as you see, my pokeweed is like going like mad. Okay. Um, so I was just listening to the news. And this is where the dog fell through the porch last weekend. So all of this, you can see I got a couple holes here. All of this has got to be replaced. So uh, we kind of made a, a quick fix because we can't afford the, 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 the deck board yet, right? And the pool's up. Chickens are doing fine. Everybody's happy. And then I get to listening to the news this morning. So it seems that we have a general who is in charge of the Space Force who was just arrested by um, Special Forces. Now, part of the reason why he was arrested was for sending monies which were supposed to go to classified projects to Ukraine. Now, uh, I don't know the great specifics on that, but you can listen to the Common Sense Show with uh, Dave Hodges, and he has an entire uh, video on that. But what I, what, what I want to talk about, he, he touched on in his video but he didn't really go into depth about it. And that is the fact that when they arrested this general, he was at a hotel to visit a young lady who was not his wife. Now, according to the UCMJ, right, Uniform Code of Military Justice, that is a violation and an Article 15 offense. Um which means that he, you could be stripped of rank, you could go to jail, blah, 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 right? So, my question is, and I'm going to direct this to the people in the military who have the essential power. Um, these are our generals, our colonels. Why is this now just coming to light because you know as well as I do from being a soldier that probably everybody who was in that command knew this man was doing this and yet none of y'all stood up so I'm going to stand up as an army veteran and say if you are in the canine or police force or space force or any part of the chain of command, specifically the higher-ups, and you see an illegal act according to the UCMJ, you need to report it. And you need to document that you reported it. Our country cannot stand if our military and our police force does not stand on the law. And our law needs to be enforced equally across the board. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how poor you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what sexual orientation you are. If you break the law, you need to pay the price. And, and so, as you could tell, I'm a little bit upset about this because 
How many other higher-ups are doing the exact same thing that this man did, okay, was sending money which was specified. This is taxpayer money now. Everybody in the country should be upset about this. This is taxpayer money that this man sent that was supposed to go to a project, a military project that he sent to Ukraine on the orders of another person. Why is that other person not also arrested? Why is everyone involved in this also not arrested? I don't care if it goes all the way up to the president. If you are bypassing the law and you are bypassing what is written in the Constitution and you are bypassing Congress, you are breaking the law and need to be held accountable. Enough with these executive orders that go against the Constitution, that go against the law. Enough. That is not how you rule this country. This is a republic. It is not a democracy. Please learn the difference. And with that, I'm going to let y'all go. Because as you can tell, I'm upset about the whole situation because this should never have happened. And the fact that $1.2 billion just went poof. And that's our taxpayer dollars. That should upset every American citizen in the country. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. That should upset every American citizen in this country, especially when we have children in this country who are going without because food stamps and Medicare have been cut. So that's what I have to say. Bicycle.